Die begrip oop bankweese, beter bekend as open banking, het in die Verenigde Koninkrijk ontstaan. Kenners reken hierdie technologie gaan bankweese veral in Afrika geheel en al ontwrig. Ek gesels nou telefonies met James Black vanuit Londen om vir ons meer hiervan te vertel. James, welcome to the program. I think we need to start by asking what exactly is open banking? Yeah, hi, thank you for having me. Um, so open, open banking is uh, basically a secure way of sharing data that your bank holds with um, other providers. So um, typically those would be account aggregation services or maybe payment initiation services. Um, so way, ways that um, someone who's not your bank can see your data, give you insights into how you're spending it, maybe use it for credit scoring or to make um, payments for e-commerce, that sort of thing. So what are the benefits uh, to consumers and should they be concerned that the data will be um, properly protected? Um, so starting with the benefits, um, I, I think I mean, one of the key benefits is um, e-commerce. So obviously you can use debit or credit cards um, to make payments over the internet. Um, but, but actually with the payment initiation services through open banking, this allows you to make a payment directly from your bank account. So that can help people who don't have cards. Um, and also it's a lot cheaper for the merchant. So ultimately e-commerce could become quicker and cheaper. Um, on, the, on the information side of things, the, the way that that data can be used um, can, can be used either to help the consumer or to help um, other financial services providers. So it, it can be used to make better credit decisioning, um, which will allow more people access to loans, even if they don't have a, a solid credit history, for example. Should the traditional and legacy banking industry be concerned about this development or is it a, a situation of adapt or die? Um, I, I think it's very much adapt or die, actually. Um, I, I think some, some traditional banks um, are scared and probably should be scared. Uh, and it does pose big challenges for um, traditional banks with legacy banking platforms that find it difficult to adapt on um, technological changes. Um, but equally, I, I think particularly for, for smaller um, more modern banks with they're, they're more used to um, adapting quickly and uh, appealing to customers more um, they, there's a lot of opportunities here um, uh, and, and I think for for all banks if they approach it the right way the um, the real holy grail here is to take advantage of open banking to pre present a a sort of more coherent customer experience and wrap it all up into into one app and control the whole ecosystem from within your banking app. James, what are some of the regulatory challenges um, facing the industry, especially when it comes to open banking? Um, so for in relation to open banking, I think the, the biggest challenge is, is one you've actually touched on a moment ago in terms of data. Um, the, obviously, the data that your bank holds is particularly um, important and particularly valuable. Uh, and obviously, you're not going to share that data if you think it's at risk. So the challenge for the industry is to create open banking in, in a way that does share that data securely and minimizes the risk of any potential data breach or unauthorized access. Um, but also, on the other hand, to address the potential liability issues to make sure that should something happen, um, customers are not left out of pocket. James, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Dit is saterdag die 50 jaar herdenking van die eerste maanlanding. Wat min mense echter weet is dat Zuid-Afrika ook een rol in hier die historische gebeurtenis gespeel het. Na die advertenties gesels ons hier oor en kyk ook na die geleentede wat in die ruimtebedrijf skuil bly ingeskakel.